We return with the story of Diego Ortiz. Now, to kick off this episode, we're going to a flashback of what life was like for Diego Ortiz before before he became a professional footballer. And well, that life was a difficult one for him. He was a, a shop shelf stacker. You know, not the kind of job that you want to be having. Late nights, low pay. But at least the manager was nice. He let him leave early for his football games. And that is exactly why Diego Ortiz wants to repay that man as soon as he gets enough money. But getting in to the Argentinian League, the first game of the episode is against Rosario Central. As Diego Ortiz looks to continue his fine form in the league as two minutes in, the first chance of the game comes here as Reva Plate look to counter-attack or tweeze using his brilliant pace just to try find an area, can't quite get past his man and again he's been struggling to get past defenders. Most of the goals he has scored has been because he's been played through on goal and not because he's running and skilling defenders. Again, the ball's in behind there but nowhere near enough power on that one to even get to Ortiz. See again there the dribbling, he's just not paying off, he's struggling to get past players. Twice there he was dispossessed of the ball by the defenders and it's just not going well for him in terms of dribbling. He's getting the goals and he's getting the assists but from very easy opportunities he's not dribbling and skilling past defenders. He's struggling to do that but 18 minutes in a brilliant ball down and then another lovely cross to the back post puts the opposition ahead. And this is the time where Diego Ortiz needs to stand up and be counted and help River Plate get in the lead here. He plays a lovely ball down to the left back, whipped across, nowhere near Ortiz and nowhere near a dangerous position that can be attacked. Again here, Ortiz does win the ball back though nicely, but that means he's not up there with Prato unfortunately. He's played through and it's a poor shot in the end, not on target, you've got to be getting those shots on target. 25 minutes into the game. The opposition are on the attack once more, again whipped to the back post and that's just poor, poor from the defender there as he puts it into the back of his own net and it is 2-0 now, River Plate are 2-0 down away from home and Ortiz is trying to do whatever possible here, lovely little 1-2, cuts past the defender nicely, dribbles into the box, he's just then, that last little move he gets cut down and actually can't put the cross in. It's unfortunate, he did really well there with the dribbling, just couldn't get that final cross in. The passing there was terrible, straight into the bath, one of the defenders, and it looks like they may counter there. It's just not gone, it's not his day, we'll say, it's not Ortiz's day in this game. Into the second half though, River Plate do intercept the ball, again they choose not to play it to Ortiz. Eventually the ball should find him on the edge of the box as he strikes it, it's blocked initially. And he can't win the ball back using his strength, but it is luckily for him. Played straight back to River Plate as they look to counter here. Ortiz plays a little 1-2. Running into the box. He's played through. Makes a nice touch out wide. Strikes it. The keeper's going to get to that one. A good save. And then an open goal missed by his teammate. And some of his teammates this season have not been pulling their weight. I think that's the second open goal that's been missed by a River Plate teammate. Ortiz. Is probably the best player on the on the team. The best te player on the team, definitely. It's a great strike there, though, by his strike partner. And with seven minutes left in the game, if only that open goal shot had been tucked home, it would be 2-2 right now. But with four minutes left in the game, Ortiz is dribbling down the wing, cuts inside past his defender, cuts past another one, but he goes straight into a tackle. And then the resulting pass is played right to the defender. And the game ends as a 2-1 loss. Ortiz with a 7.2 average rating. He did have an 88% passing accuracy, which was really good. And just under 50 touches. You can see there are shots. Two of them hit the post. One of them actually went wide, but his other shots were well separated. But here's a part of his pass that he does want to forget. He used to smoke. And that's probably the reason why that Ortiz has been struggling to... Well, he's been struggling in the last final 15 minutes of the game. And it's just probably because of the smoking, how it's affected his lungs. Obviously, you remember in pre-season, he got subbed off in that one game. And he does not want that to happen throughout the season. That was the last time he ever smoked over three years ago. As he just looks to move on in his career. And nine minutes in, we want to improve on the recent form that River Plate have had. And Ortiz definitely wants to get on the score sheet this game. A lovely shot there from the edge of the box by Quintero. Probably on the same level 
or if not better than Ortiz. Really good cam, Colombian cam, and he does well there to finish that one 10 minutes in to put River Plate 1-0 up. But here, the opposition look to be attacking on the counter. The defenders for River Plate this season have not been the best. There's a brilliant ball there though, straight into the path of Ortiz. He unfortunately loses out. He will win it back and he plays through his teammate, strikes it. He was offside number one and number two, it did go wide of the post, unfortunately. So no assist for Ortiz there. That's a brilliant ball and it's an even better save. But unfortunately, well, fortunately, actually, the shot did go off the crossbar. It is going to go out for an opposition throw in. They're going to look to attack this one as they play it inside. Ortiz is tracking back, but somehow that shot goes in. The keeper for River Plate is terrible. He's really not on good form right now. And it is 1-1. Ortiz is asking for the ball to be played through. He receives it. Gets past the one defender really nicely. Plays it to the edge box. Little 1-2. Cuts inside and strikes it. And he's just wide of the post. Just rolls past. And unfortunately goes out for a goal kick. But he plays the ball through. A little 1-2 with Quintero. And he strikes it on his weaker left foot into the near post. And he tucks it home. He is on the score sheet. That's exactly what he wanted in the beginning of this game and it celebrates with a salute to the River Plate fan base army and it is 2-1 heading into halftime if the opposition have anything to say about it it won't be they want to make it 2-2 as quickly as possible and Bueno cuts inside across and he's just sliced that shot unfortunately for him it was a really nice lay across but he's just sliced it and again there the 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 River Plate defenders give away the ball so easily and it's it's starting to get on the nerves of Ortiz because another striker would have probably finished that one and it's just getting on the nerves of Ortiz that he's scoring the goals but the River Plate defenders are just just letting easy goals in so they mean nothing. A lovely little through ball there, played across, didn't give Ortiz any time to find a position in the box before they whipped that cross in. Another chance here. It's played to the edge of the box and it is eventually cleared straight into the path of the attacker who's trying to get the better of the defender and they actually do so there. So that's exactly my point there. The River Plate defender is just not really that good and it's getting on the nerves of Ortiz. With three minutes left in the game, it's 2-1 still and hopefully the defenders can defend this lead. The keeper doesn't even dive. The defenders were nowhere near the striker. And the game is going to end as a 2-2 draw. Unfortunately, Ortiz's goal that put River Plate in front is going to mean nothing. Unfortunately for him, from two shots, he had one goal. 87% passing accuracy was really good. Two key passes as well. And the only overall shot he had was pretty close to going in. It was just wide of the post. As we move into the third and final game of the episode against Tigre, away from home. And hopefully we can put in a similar performance against Tigre. Maybe getting a goal and an assist this game instead of just a goal. But one minute into the game, it looks as if we're on the attack straight from kickoff as Ortiz has played through. And he's going to cut past the defender nicely with a fake shot. And again on the weak foot, strikes it home to make it 1-0. He is on fine goal scoring form as it stands right now. With a really nice goal there as he gets past the defender quite easily. And... Unfortunately, Tigre are going to go on the attack straight from kickoff. Hopefully, the defense have learnt from the last game, and it looks as if they've not, as the players played through, and the goal is beaten at the near post, and it's 1-1. Five minutes in, straight from kickoff, River Plate throw away their lead. All the hard work that Ortiz just put in, just been thrown away by the defenders, and it's a shame really because Ortiz is having such a good season. But the team, they're just not because the defence are conceding such easy goals. It's a nice little pass there and it's a brilliant finish by Prato. 14 minutes into the game, he just slides one into the bottom corner to make it 2-1. And, well, we're back on top. Hopefully this game we can hold on to the lead, unlike the previous one. But 25 minutes in, Tigre are attacking. Edge of the box lays it down. It's played inside to the struggle that just scored. Trying to go for the near post again. The keeper punches it away. And eventually it will be cleared. But Akuna whips one back in. It's overhead kick. Another great reaction save by the keeper. And then a good catch. Feels like the keeper has heard what Ortiz has had to say about him not performing as of late. But Ortiz is making a brilliant run. And fortunately he's caught up on the defender there. Should be some kind of foul. But it's played across and Ortiz 
it's caught up behind the defender and can't quite win the header. It will go out for a throw in, but into the second half, 54 minutes in, Ortiz receives the ball. He's come so deep just to get a touch of the ball, but it will eventually play up to him. A brilliant through ball. He's one on one, strikes it, and that's a poor, poor strike in the end. Really poor finish. And I mean, he should be tucking those away. If he wants to play for Argentina, if he wants to play in the Champions League, You've got to be tucking those away. But he's looking to play a nice little one-two of Prato here. Strikes it. And again, he hits the post. That's the third or fourth time he's hit the post in the past couple of episodes. And he obviously in the last episode, he had the... Oh, last game, sorry. He had the one that went just wide of the post. But Ortiz is screaming for the ball on the penalty spot. And the teammate is just losing it. Again, that could have made it 3-1. He probably would have struck that one and tucked it home. But he cuts inside onto the left foot. Strikes it. Unfortunately for him, it was right at the keeper. And the game is going to end as a 2-1 victory. It was his 10th match, and he did get a goal. Two goals in two games, not too bad. As we look at some in-depth stats here, he had 89% passing accuracy, created two chances, 41 touches, got the goal and an 8.3 rating, which is really good. But you can see there, he hit the post. And this is probably another bad thing, which he hopes he can amend for. Here, he used to like going to fancy car shops and looking at the cars. And one day, security thought he looked a bit suspicious. They pulled out the taser. And well, Diego Ortiz knocked him out. The police were called. And he did spend a couple of weeks in the prison. He was eventually released. And he vowed from that day on he would never get in trouble with the law again. And as of right now, he has accepted that promise. As we move on to the next episode, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.